Ooh, looky there. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. I've got a cool gaming headset here from Cougar Gaming. Let's see what this thing looks like. So Cougar has a pretty good selection in their lineup. We'll come all the way down here to the bottom. They've got a nice comparison, and I'll try to make a slide of this and get it up here in a moment. But uh, they've got the Phantom, the Phantom Essential, Immersa Pro Pre. Some people say pricks, but it's actually Pre, like Grand Pre, which is what we're looking at today, Immersa Pro Pre. The Immersa Pro TI, the Immersa TI Attila, Havoc BT, which is Havoc Bluetooth, and then the Havoc. And really, there aren't too many things as subjective as, uh, in my opinion, headphones and probably uh, a gaming mouse. You can check these out here. I've got a couple of cool mice I just reviewed. Also from Cougar Gaming, uh, there's the dual blader and the air blader over here. Check out those reviews. But uh, again, I would probably say the subjectivity level is neck and neck between those two. Uh, you throw in a keyboard and gaming chair also, but uh, you know everybody is going to have a little different opinion on what makes a good headset. So really, uh, it comes down to what you personally like. I can tell you how good or how bad something is. Uh, you know, you really have to try it for yourself to get the true experience. But anyway, looking at the front of the box, and there's not a whole lot going on here. Uh, it is RGB, it uses their UIX software, and I'll talk about that. Uh, let's see, really, this, this is covered on the back in more detail. So we'll look here. All right, so you've got the 360 degree immersive surround via Cougar UIX software. Again, we'll look at that here in a little bit uh, more detail. Uh, this works with a PC, a laptop, and a PlayStation 4 console. It is uh, 7.1 virtual surround, peak diaphragm, 50 millimeter drivers, RGB, Audio card for sound boost. Looks like it's contained uh, within this little area here. Inline control for volume and microphone mute, which is pretty standard. Uh, type A for PC or PlayStation 4, your USB connection. And you've got a noise cancellation pickup. And let's see here. Uh, writing here is a little small. So you've got customizable RGB lighting, 7.1 virtual surround for enhanced immersion. Full software equalizer through Cougar UIX system, 9.7 millimeter uh, retractable microphone, automatic omnidirectional adaptive ear shells, and noise cancellation technology. All right, so we can get it out of the box. And it was pretty well tied down to this plastic uh, shell that's made to form to the, uh, the headphones. And I took those out because I don't think anybody wants to watch me fool with that for a minute or two. But anyway, as I always say with the user manual, user guide, whatever, as simple as a set of headphones really can be or should be, uh, they're pretty much plug and play, but it's still a good idea to run through your little user guide here and just make sure there aren't any little features that are easily overlooked. And it looks like everything we covered on the box is really, really stated here. There is a little section here for the specifications for anyone who wants to uh, Get that in focus. All right, so for anyone who wants to know some of the more nitty gritty details there. So your frequency response, 10 to 20 kilohertz, 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz, uh, pretty standard. The rest of this information probably won't interest too many people, but there it is for anyone who is interested. Okay, I guess that is already zoomed out. Okay, so again, 2.5 meters on your cord. None of these are detachable here at your little sound card. They are permanently connected. Same thing here at your volume control. You rotate that for volume up or down. And then here's your microphone mute button. Again, this is pretty standard. And these connections here are also permanent. They are not made to be removable. Connection here, and this is important, the connection here at the headset, uh, you want this to be pliable, movable, but uh, you also want it to be, you want a nice strain relief there so you don't uh, start to fray the cable or pull. You don't want this to pull out of the headphones. That's why you got to be careful when you set these down. You don't walk off and trip over the cord and yank your headphones off and cause all kinds of issues. But this looks to be pretty robust. Uh, and again, it is non-detachable. Your microphone boom here, it does extend. 
and it's bendable it pretty much holds its shape but it does on a tight bend it does want to relax just a little bit so it might take you a, a couple of uh, attempts to bend it right where you want it but it is fully retractable so it gets out of the way when you're not using it now we got these two wires here and these are these are bendable but they're still pretty rigid they appear to be covered with this I don't know if that's a PVC but they bend to fit the shape of your head and then there's a the little head head uh, guard or head strap here now it actually has two cables on either side that you can see right there and they are actually uh, retracted up into the strap on either side so as you extend it uh, a little extra cable pulls out to cover the extra distance and then uh, when you let it retract well then they they both go back up into the strap so they're not in the way so that's kind of a cool idea the uh, ear cups here are very soft of course that's important if you have these things on for very long again uh, that all falls under that subjective category uh, on the fit but the real killer there can be the sound and they do rotate it looks like they pivot all the way around to adjust again for maximum comfort now when you go to the Cougar gaming uh, web page for this particular set of headphones you can sort of see and all this all the information here is really covered uh, on what we just talked about uh, you know something that'll be interesting to see is the RGB effects and usually this stuff is you know you play with it for a few minutes and then you set it and forget it for the most part or you just you know turn it off altogether but uh, you have to download the special UIX software and we'll do that here in just a moment let's see down here somewhere yeah here it is so here's the software and I found that the software for like the dual blader here there's a software package uh, for the UIX software uh, it is dedicated just to this specific mouse the same thing for the air blader here it has its own special package they all look the same but uh, I was a little surprised that there wasn't one universal package but uh, it looks like the headphones here have their own separate software too and it's actually a zip file so after you download it you go to your downloads folder uh, I already unpacked it but it downloads as a zip file no device detected okay so it looks like I have to plug this in before it will install the software okay I have them plugged in you can see they are they are lit up looks like it's just orange so there's not much going on but we'll go ahead and run through the installer see if that works any better yeah so apparently it's looking for the headphones as part of the installation package so this should not take too long yes and close these windows and there we go okay so there is the equalizer it looks like uh, we've probably got some RGB effects here okay there's the lighting control so yep right away it defaults to it's hard to tell the lighting in this room I'll have to turn the lights off here in a little bit uh, the lighting sort of washes them out a little bit let's see that we've got different effects breathing see if I can change it to all red it looks like you have to make your selection and then hit apply maybe yeah so now it's cycling in a rainbow effect again it's I'll have to turn the lights out I can see it but I know coming through the camera a lot of times it uh, stuff like that gets washed out okay so I've dimmed the lights as much as I can here and I'll sort of show you how the uh, RGB works so if you're up here uh, you select steady mode you have a single color that you can choose from and then you hit apply and then it changes to that color but we have swift times two times five and times seven what that means if you select the swift times two that means you have two color choices and you can pick the color choices so you select the first square and say I want to go from uh, this orange to 
let's just say, uh, how about blue, pick blue. So now it transitions from orange to blue, you hit apply, and then you watch the headphones and we should get a transition going from an orange, yeah, yellowy orange to a blue. And you can select these and change them. So Swift 5 gives you a five color transition and Swift 7 gives you seven colors that you can select and transition between. I can select each one of these and, and change it. And then you hit apply. And then it will cycle through the colors uh, that I've selected up here. So that's sort of how you can customize your RGB effects. You don't really have a rainbow button that you push. A lot of them you have the rainbow mode and it just cycles through the colors, but you're sort of doing that here. And then if you want to turn it off completely, you just hit the off. And again, you always have to hit the apply and you can turn the RGB effects completely off or put them back. And breathing here, we have the same uh, squares that you can select and you can customize the colors between them on the breathing, but you only have four to choose from there. Over here in the game profile management to the upper left, you can click on that and you can basically set up a profile uh, for each game or each application that you use, uh, or you can actually set it up for different users who may have different uh, preferences. And over here in, let's see the, uh, where am I? Okay, come back over here to setting. And this is where you get into your equalizer. Now you can customize each channel here or each frequency. Actually, those aren't actual channels, uh, but you have presets. So you can sort of click through these, listen to your game or your music or your podcast or whatever and see which one of the presets uh, you might like. Or you can come over here to custom and then you can make your own adjustments and maybe you don't like as much of the highs or as much of the lows. You can bring all that down and then you can save it and create a name for each one of your personalized settings. Well, thank you. Each one of your personalized settings. I tell you with so many devices around here, there's always something sending me a notification. And here's your surround sound so you can turn that on or off. Now, if you're wanting to see what version you are on as far as firmware, you come down here to your little UIX icon, you right click about update and it pops this little window open, which shows you your driver version and your firmware version. And if you hit go, it pops open your Cougar gaming window. And after that loads, you go over here to downloads at the top, hit your UIX system which opens this page, which should look somewhat familiar. And then you can scroll down and compare the firmware and driver version with what is available. Okay, so I'm wearing the headphones and what you're hearing now is coming through the mic as I'm touching it, you can hear the sounds. And so much for my big ugly face. Now we're looking at the screen while I talk through the microphone. So this is for anyone who wants to hear what the sound is like through the microphone. And over here, you can adjust your equalizer, but that has no effect uh, only on the playback. So I can hear myself through the monitor, except when I turn it off and then I don't hear anything very briefly, but you can adjust the monitor volume and then the mic volume here. So I can set it to where it's super sensitive and then I can also adjust it down. So it's not quite so sensitive, but that gives you an idea of what the microphone sounds like. So there are several factors that go into uh, choosing a good set of headphones. One, of course, is uh, comfort. And with this little support suspension, headband, whatever, it sort of distributes the weight of the headphones over the top of your head. Uh, so they're not really being supported by your ears, uh, which is good. Uh, the ear cups here are also very soft and make it comfortable. So between the band and the very soft ear cups, Comfort level is fine. I've had these on for several hours at a time and really didn't feel any fatigue or any urge to uh, take them off. Nothing like that. From the sound 
uh, perspective again there's a lot of subjectivity there uh, you know music they sounded good to me the high frequency low frequency it was all uh, captured and reproduced by the uh, 50 millimeter drivers gaming again a nice immersive uh, experience and of course you have the equalizer that you can go in and sort of customize uh, the sound to your liking and the RGB you know that's kind of neat but I don't think that's a deal maker if it didn't have the RGB I don't know that I would really notice or care but hey it's got it so I'll take it so now it comes down to pricing well these things retail it looks like for sixty nine seventy dollars right around there normally they're currently on sale at Amazon for fifty five dollars which really puts them in the sweet spot for uh, you know not spending a lot of money but getting a good set of headphones so with that in mind I would give this the overclockers club editors choice award so this is Chris with overclockers club thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe